Senator. Let me tell you, not only didn't it come back, look at upstate New York. It's a disaster. It got worse. People fled, companies fled. It's a disaster. The corrupt politicians and their special interests have ruled over this country for a very long time. Today is our Independence Day. Today, the American working class is going to strike back, finally. Real change begins with immediately repealing and replacing the disaster known as Obamacare. It's just been announced that the residents of Michigan are going to experience a massive double-digit premium hike, like you wouldn't believe. Not going to matter that much, honestly, because we're going to terminate it. You're not going to have to worry about it, okay? Don't worry. Now, on the other hand, if something horrible happens tomorrow, get ready to pay a lot more than you're even paying now, but that's not going to happen. I'm looking at that fantastic young lady right there. She's shaking her head. No way, no way. Not going to happen, right? Good. Not going to happen. No, I don't think you're going to have to worry about the premiums. But with Obamacare, premiums are surging. Companies are leaving. Insurers are fleeing. Doctors are quitting. And deductibles are going right through the roof. Yet Hillary Clinton wants to double down on Obamacare, making it even more expensive. And it doesn't work. It's no good. I'm asking for your vote so we can repeal and replace Obamacare and save health care for every family in Michigan and throughout the United States of America. We have to do it. We don't have a choice. Real change also means restoring honesty to our government. So the first thing we should do, let's get rid of Hillary, okay? That's probably... That would be a very good first step. It's a good first step. Hillary Clinton is the most corrupt person ever to seek the office of the presidency of the United States. She is being protected by a totally rigged system that I've been talking about for a long time. It's a rigged system. Now it's up to the American people to deliver justice at the ballot box. And I don't, I don't have to say, do it tomorrow, do it in a week. You're going to do it today. You'll go to sleep for a couple of hours, right? Go to sleep. You go to sleep for a couple of hours, you wake up, you cast you. Then you can go back to sleep. Or go to work. You people don't go to sleep. You'll go back to work. I know my people. You'll get up after about two hours. You'll vote and you'll